It's me again, everybody, Alexander James Mathers, sitting by the river, enjoying the fresh Arctic breeze flowing through. And it caught my attention that I needed to talk to you guys about how we um, can make ourselves less effective, less motivated, more in fear, more stressed, more concerned about what we're doing with our lives, more uptight, less productive, by how we define success to ourselves. This insight came about through a conversation I was having with a coaching client yesterday, really interesting, on the area of uh, writing with some consistency. And we were talking about how the reason why a lot of us hold back on being consistent with our work and other things, but I think speaking in the context of writing is interesting and creativity. The reason we hold back is because we've got various ways of seeing and measuring success that aren't helpful for us. And what's interesting is that we, we have the power, we have the control to shift those uh, perspectives around. And this is always the solution. In every video pretty much that I've shared since day one, it's all about perspective shifting, but how we can, we can absolutely create a more energized, motivated life through the cheeky and subtle act of perspective shifting. So what do I mean by this in the context of writing? So say your definition of success as a writer is that you write something that goes viral every week or you write something that people engage with enthusiastically every week. If that, which it is for many, is your definition of being um, a successful writer, you're going to struggle because you're... Like, and I've been there many times where I've kind of had in my mind this idea that I was going to do very well with this particular piece and I was invested in making a success of this particular article or this particular chapter that I was writing or this particular post. When it doesn't go to plan, you're going to be disappointed, right? If, if, if it doesn't work out as effectively and it doesn't engage with as many people as you'd hoped, then you're going to be disappointed. But at the same time, you're also holding yourself back just even sitting down to write initially because you've got this added pressure. Uh, attached to your writing process it's like well I better deliver on this one because if I don't make it viral then I'm not a success right because you have created this uh, definition of success you haven't got it from anywhere but yourself this is the, the curious thing about being human is that we create our struggles in an incredible way in, in incredibly creative ways and we can tell ourselves I have to perform well with this article online or I'm not a success. And therefore, you scare yourself out of wanting to take action and sit down and do the, the creativity in the first place. What if you shifted your uh, definition of success as a writer to... My, de my definition for success is to sit down, even if I feel a bit weird and a bit ugh, or a bit, you know what I mean, just not really feeling the, <laughs> the writing. Sit down and write 500 words on Friday morning, every Friday or every day, hit publish. No matter how good, no matter how icky it felt to write it and then to publish it, no matter what, you've got your ass on chair and you've written it, you've written 500 words and you've pressed publish. That can absolutely be your definition, definition of success. That is on the table. Suddenly, just writing, no matter how you feel, and, and, and publishing, no matter how bad it is, from your viewpoint, is a success. You are a success by showing up every day and doing it and taking action, regardless of whether you get into some kind of immersive flow with it, regardless of whether you, you, you hit that note of genius that is going to come through hit or miss on some occasions. Suddenly, your definition for success is attainable, doable, and motivating because... Success doesn't hinge on how you feel in the moment. Success doesn't hinge on how successful the piece is online when you share it. Success is that you sat down, got your pen out, you turned off your distractions and you got to work. That's your renewed definition of, the, of success. This is important, not just because I'm sitting here jabbering. This is important because this applies to all areas of our life. If you've got struggles, you find yourself holding back on a, on a habit that you know you need to formulate or you're not exercising enough or you're drinking too much or uh, you're just holding back in some way, you're coming up against resistance in some way, this is something that you can apply. You're probably 
defining success in a way that is unhelpful for you. So whenever you, wherever you're struggling in your life, I want you to take, take a little assessment time and have a look at it and say, what's my definition of success here? Why is this creating so much pressure for myself? And you'll see that what you're doing is you're inadvertently, through no real fault of your own, but missing the reality that perspective is everything. You're creating struggle and hardship for yourself. You're creating resistance for yourself. And this is interesting because uh, motivation is therefore on the table. Motivation is there for all of us when we apply the right lens. Um, so perhaps you're struggling to get outside and go for your 25 minute walk every day. What's your, defini of, what's your definition of success that's holding you back? Well, you're probably saying that um, You've got to get creative about this one, I suppose. But my definition of success is that I need to feel good in order to get my ass out the door and walk. Otherwise, I'm not walking. Or what if your definition of success was simply that you got the, 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 the walk done, no matter how you felt, no matter, how, no matter what the weather, um, and you got it done and you got it written down on your, in your notebook. That's success. And that can be a, a lot to contribute to your renewed vision of what's important so it's it's an interesting one and it gives you the opportunity to kind of think through some things that might be causing you challenge in your life and seeing if you can apply the the definite definition i keep struggling with that word the definition of success filter and uh, seeing if that makes a difference and you probably will find that in many cases it will i don't think i've got a huge amount more to say on this really but beyond encouraging you to to try it out for yourself and, and uh, think about one thing that you continually come up against that feels like a bit of a push, a bit of a wall, a continual frustration. Well, maybe you're creating um, a layer of frustration and pressure that is reducing your performance, that reduces your uh, joy. And ultimately, this is all about freeing ourselves from self-imposed imprisonment in a funny kind of way. And it's all rooted to perspective in many cases. Some things are out of our control, in which case you look at that, you assess it for what it is, and you say, look, I can't deal with that right now, so I'm gonna leave that. But for the things that are in your control, said Aristotle and his mates, or whatever it was, Marcus Aurelius, they were right. Whatever's in your control, take a look at it, and you'll find a way through, and you'll find a way to make it appetizing for you. And you'll know you're on the right track when it feels right, and you find a way to enjoy it, even if, it's not comfortable. There are ways to enjoy life even when you're not comfortable doing it, like the walk in the cold. Because your defini definition of success is to just do the walk and write it down that you've done it and you've spent 20 minutes out in the cold for a bit. That's success. And you're going to be much more motivated to do it because you can see it, you can taste it, you can feel inevitable success. That's it for me, guys. Hope that was helpful. As always, do subscribe to this channel if you... Uh, want to hear more like this make sure you're subscribed to my substack at untetheredmind.substack.com <laughs> worth doing um there's a lot of valuable information in written form coming through there i've also got a few exclusive videos and things coming through there make sure you're following me on twitter alex mathers 84 is the at and uh do like this video and i'll see you in the next one guys take care